Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Anthony back here again. So, so a bunch of cards got released on EVGA yesterday, and guess what? The bots came back and bought all the cards up. Uh, from what I heard, um, not very many people got those cards. The bots won again. So, Jacob supposedly went on Twitter. Jacob's like the main marketing bigwig over there at EVGA, and he says he's sorry. So hopefully, NVIDIA and EVGA, Newegg, all these companies find some way to combat these bots. There are some preventive measures they can add to those sites, you know. But it just sucks for people that are trying to buy these video cards to upgrade their systems. Some people sold off their other previous cards to get as much money as possible for their cards. And they're sitting there not playing, being able to play video games because they're waiting for a video card. And now you can't buy one. So... It really sucks. So I'm going to try to get a 3090 on the 24th, which is in two days. Today's the 22nd. Um, yeah. So wish me luck. <laughs> it's going to be uh, wish wish me luck. Thank you. It's going to be crazy. I, I don't know. I'm going to be spamming F5 like as much as possible and hopefully add one to my cart as fast as possible. I don't even care what brand right now. I'm just going to get whatever is available, you know. And then I'll worry about maybe swapping it out in the future. I really want a Kingpin 3090 eventually in the future. Or the Galax uh, Hall of Fame card, maybe. So those are both on the plate in the future. Uh, both of those haven't been really announced or released yet. I know they're working on them. Uh, EVGA uh, Vince, I think, posted a picture on Twitter uh, showing a Kingpin card. So I think it's a Kingpin 3080. Or it could be the 3090. I don't know. But, um, yeah. They're, they're, it's coming, you know. Every generation, there's a Kingpin card. He's, like, the best. And I've met Vince in real life before um, a couple different times. And super cool guy, I tell you. So, Kingpin, that guy is super awesome. So, anyways, I'm just kind of throwing out a, another video here. I'm trying to upload um, more random on my page, you know. So, um I was going with my analytics the other day on my video page, and it says like 99% of the people that watched my video, my one video that hit 8,400 views right now, said 99% of the people weren't even subscribed, um, which kind of hurts my feels a little bit, you know? So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, it'd be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button, and I'll try to put out content. I will have a 3090 at some point to replace my 2080 Ti right there, and... Um, I'll be running some benchmarks and uploading a before and after, like my benchmarks at the 2080 Ti and my benchmarks at the 3090. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I upgrade every generation. So um, right now I have 2080 Ti, and right here in the board it's a 9900K. It's running at 5.2 gigahertz, which is probably good enough. Um, upgrading to the, to the 10,900K, I don't think it's really going to give me that much more performance, you know. And whenever I upgrade, I like to have, like, at least 10% if I'm upgrading something. And I don't think that's going to happen with the, with the 10,900K. Plus, you can't really find one right now. But um, who knows? I have a new build coming up. So um, this build, I'm not exactly sure if I'll, if I'll take this apart and take the parts out of it for my new build. I'm not sure. So anyways, um, thanks for watching today. And we'll see you guys on the next one.